Amanda Hatcher. I'm a program manager here at Kids Harbor, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our parent education and stabilization courses. Kids Harbor saw a need in the community to have this resource. There weren't a lot of places offering parenting classes in the area, and certainly not with that stabilization piece. Um, and so this is offered free to um, folks that are either court ordered to it, working with Children's Division, um, either with their kids in alternative care or through um, an open services case, um, or anybody that we come across that may feel the need to have that resource. Um, and so when developing this course, one of the main things was fighting the barriers that keep parents from being able to participate in something like this. Um, so transportation, um, getting a meal ready for their kids, childcare for their kids. And so with our course, it's a 10 week course. Um, it teaches one, two, three magic as the parenting curriculum along with stabilization. Um, and I'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, and so the parents that come, they're able to bring their kids. We have caregivers to watch their kiddos during the time of the class. It's a two hour time frame. Um, and they're modeling that one, two, three magic program for the parents while they're there. Um, and also feeding everybody a healthy meal so they don't have to worry about that. And then giving gas vouchers to families to help with that transportation barrier. So if they live close, they get less. If they live further, they get more, that kind of thing. Um, or if they don't have transportation, they're able to offer that to the people that are bringing them to the class. Um, and so the class goes over through that one, two, three magic curriculum and it also talks about budgeting, schedules, reward systems for kids. Um, so each family gets a rewards box and practices these things throughout the course and comes back um, and shares with each other how it's going. Um, and what's been working, what's been not, and kind of sharing their stories. And often we have folks come in and say, I had no idea. I, I didn't have this growing up. I didn't know how to parent. Um, and, and lots of them are here because they have a court case for child abuse and neglect. Um, and so to hear that and see that they just really didn't have the tools um, and to be able to provide that to them has been wonderful. And we've had folks come back and say, can I talk to the next class and let them know how amazing this is and how helpful it can be to them if they really engage. And seeing those relationships built throughout that course has been awesome to see because they're really building relationships with folks with, that are struggling too and can kind of come in and help one another as far as different techniques and things like that that they've learned throughout the class. Um, and we do prize giveaways, cleaning products, hygiene products, things like that for participation. Um, so it really has been a wonderful program um, and, and we hope to continue to be able to do that and serve. We're able to do this through um, two grants actually, the Miller County Cares Grant and the United Way Grant. Um, so we're able to combine those and serve um, not only Miller County but other resi uh, residents of other counties of the areas that we serve. So it's a real need in the area and we're really pleased to be able to, to serve our clients that way.